The chances of a huge catastrophe are slim, as he said. Um, but I'm wondering if, considering the seriousness of the consequences of a worst case scenario, and I mean, obviously, you know, people say like, well, it, it's safe, we tested for this or this, but there are so many, there's human errors, there's technological errors, and with something like this, where a, cata where a catastrophe is so kind of unforgiving and could cause, you know, lots of cancer in the area, or, or even possibly, I mean, from what I understand, irradiate square miles and make them uninhabitable, um, is it a good idea to, Keep building nuclear reactors. Should we phase out the ones that we should? Or should we phase out the ones that we have in favor of uh, of cleaner renewable energy? Uh, okay, let, you've asked a whole lot of questions okay. and made a whole lot of uh, innuendos. Okay, okay. <laughs> good. For, first, the, the, you're correct. Uh, the most severe accident that they designed to is the core melt. And when they designed to the core melt accident, and assuming that a core melt does occur the dosage has to be less than some number at some distance from the plant. This is all written into the regulations. There are regulations that govern all of this. They even consider meteorology, which way does the wind blow, and who's going to be in the direction of the wind. They do all this. But you still have to keep the probability of this severe accident less than some number. And uh, the number we used to look at was one in a million. I think the number turns out to be a bit larger than that. But one in a million is a small number. Right, but I mean, at the same time, I mean, I'm assuming that the Fukushima plant, I mean, was it, a, it wasn't a poorly run plant. I mean, they, I think they had, well, I mean, they probably had a lot, a lot of safety regulations in and had tested for tsunamis or earthquakes up to a certain level, and then, but then they get an earthquake that is bigger than they expected okay, or a tsunami now, that is bigger. Well, let's talk about, about Fukushima then. First, it survived the earthquake. Uh, and the earthquake was beyond the design basis for the plant. Do you know what design basis means? Uh, why don't you a, regula <laughs> a re regulator says, if you build a nuclear power plant here, that nuclear power plant must survive an 8.0 earthquake. Well, now, if you get a 9.0, what's going to happen? I don't quite remember the numbers of Fukushima, but it was a fact, the, the magnitude of the earthquake was almost a factor of 10 greater than they designed it for. But the, okay, so, and it survived it. Now, what happened was the tsunami uh, was a lot higher than they had thought it would be. And it, as a result, it flooded the electrical equipment. And then I think there was a series of things that happened. See, what the Japanese should have done is immediately decided, we've lost the plant, flood it with seawater. But they tried to save their capital investment. And they delayed and delayed and delayed. And as a result, they had a steam explosion, or a hydrogen, hydrogen explosion. When you have a hydrogen explosion, and you didn't see this in the newspapers or even hear it through the uh, media in this country, when that hydrogen explosion occurred, the core was melting. The it, core was finished. 